Hey everyone, I'm Cosmo, welcome to another Trailmakers video, and today I'm going to be building a paddle-powered crane barge. Now you guys have been commenting on my videos saying, you know, Scrapman did this, Scrapman did that, Scrapman got all the artifacts, well, guess what guys? I am a strong, independent, single Ukrainian woman, and I do what I want. Today, I finally am going to take the high seas seriously and start collecting the artifacts. I'm really excited to do that, and in the last episode, I was actually talking about building like a crane barge. And I think that uh, that is exactly what I'm going to try building in this episode. Something that can, uh, you know, traverse the seas and not get tipped over. Uh, I don't know how fast it will be. I want to use paddle power for it as well. I figured, you know, why not make like a sea tank essentially, you know? <laughs> but let's go to the map here because I actually want to build in this area uh, simply because I want to make sure that uh, my craft will fit through this, this passageway here because it's the only one that's kind of, uh, I, I guess, restricting. The yellow beam that's in the winter biome is actually in like a dome, and I might have to access that one from underneath, so I'm not too worried about that one, to be honest. I just want to make sure that I can fit through this one. So, let's start building, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. I think I think I went a little bit overboard. <laughs> Just a little bit. I actually had to end up using the complexity mod. So my complexity is set to like 1,111. Here, let's get the HUD back on. And uh, my creation ended up being 1,059 complexity points. Now, here's the kicker. All the complexity points were really added by this little rescue boat here. And this Sherp that I tried to replicate. If you remove that, and if you remove some of these pieces right here, because I kind of just started adding some stuff uh, at some point, because I was like, well, I'm already using the complexity mod. I'm just going to go until my game says no. <laughs> and uh, if you remove like these lights, for example, here, then this thing is going to be at 700 complexity, like exactly 700. So this is possible to have this giant platform still. Um, it's just that I think I built it a little bit too big. I think I built it a little bit too big. <laughs> here, let me lower my crane here, and I'm going to show you guys all the functions of this thing. So as you can see, it's a massive tank drive platform, which uh, which has paddles for power. So here we're going forward. Now say I want to go left. I reverse the left side. We're going left. 
go forward again. This thing is actually very maneuverable. I am so psyched on that. It's so maneuverable. <laughs> I love that. And it's actually decently quick. I think it gets up to like 30 kilometers an hour sometimes with the wind at its back. <laughs> I may want to add some thrust here, uh, but I just kind of wanted to do a paddle powered vehicle and and see how it does. In the middle, I built a tank-like thing that uh, if we extend our crane here, you can see that it actually pivots. It can pivot all the way around and uh, it can put stuff in that uh, cargo space. Oh, I guess it can't pivot all the way around. Wow, I lied. I lied, how, how could I do that? Okay, one sec, quick fix. It's kind of funny because I have a bunch of areas where I have parts glitching into other parts and it's perfectly fine, but no, it picks this one. <laughs> it picks this one to not be able to glitch through. Here, let's, uh, let's see if that works. Yeah, okay, we're good now, we're good. So that goes all the way around. Uh, there's four seats, so I can have a crew of four with me. Well, I guess a crew of three, well, no, a crew of four because I'm part of the crew. Here, let's lower this thing back down. I'm not so sure about the magnets or rather the tractor beams. No. No, uh, being on the on the trailer hinges, I just I don't know how I feel about that because it looks kind of glitchy. I don't I don't know if I like that. We might have to fix that. We'll see how controllable it is. If it keeps glitching out, I might just have to, well, add more pistons on a swivel or something. You know, um, this is supposed to be this this front piece here is supposed to be to kind of store the magnet in there. But it still, it still pops out. It still just does whatever it wants to do. Actually, if I lower it like that, it might be fine. Alrighty, here's another cool function. If you press 3, it turns on the lights. And if you press 1, that opens up the cargo bay. And the cargo bay, I figured, would be good for storing artifacts. Because I basically want to float around the sea and collect as many artifacts as I can and then just go around delivering them, you know? Think of it as like a Team C's vehicle, and I'm just cleaning up random junk, random artifacts. <laughs> um, but now, if I want to close that, I have to do it manually. I press 2, and just have to stop, like, at the right time, essentially. And here we are. We can turn off our lights, our, our danger lights. And now, I'm gonna show you guys my accessories. So, the reason I figured I would include these guys in this episode is because they don't really have, you know, a crazy purpose on their own. The boat actually is pretty cool. So, for example, if somebody wants to get in the boat... Ooh, bad spot to drop the boat. Bad spot to drop the boat. I was initially going to build two jet skis that go, like, on either side. However, it's so hard to build a jet ski in Trailmakers because anything of that size is very light and just gets completely flung around by whatever uh, source of propulsion you put on it, in this case, an outboard motor. But I managed to build a cool little, like, skimmer that works pretty well, I think. So here, let me get into it. Keep talking about it. Let me just show you guys. All right, so we're in it. Now we go, we press zero, I believe. Perfect. We have extended. We press eight to drop in. And here we go. Now, I actually quickly need to adjust. There we go. So I have the propeller well, I guess the outboard motor on a piston because it actually helped. Oh, chill, chill, dude, chill. You don't gotta be like that. I'm trying to show the good people of YouTube the stuff that I built, okay? Okay. So yeah, the rear outboard motor is actually on a piston because it helps control the pitch of the boat. Uh, typically, what I do is I align it with the center of that helicopter engine, which I use to tip the boat around. So it can't really tip. It uh, If you tip, you can just quickly spin around before it kicks you out of the seat because, well, the cockpit isn't, isn't waterproof. But uh, here, let me show you guys how this thing rips around. Look at that. Now I also oh oh <laughs> now I also have a thruster up front, which kind of helps keep the nose down in sticky situations. Uh, currently, I just have it on toggle, and it's only lighting up when, uh, well, when it can because it is touching the water. But it's helping the boat, you know, be more stable. So I figured, neat little addition, and it's uh, it's a fun little ripper. And if you need to escape the treacherous rig, wait, why is that on? Why is that on? That's so weird. I never turned it on. I probably turned that on. Who else would have turned that on, right? Alrighty, so that's the boat, and uh, that's pretty fun. So if you need to escape the rig, you can use the little boat. But now, let me show you the Sherp. The Sherp was a little harder to build, uh, simply because it's it's very hard to balance something that, you know, that has such a small perimeter. Alrighty, let's get out. Perfect. Let's get into the Sherp. Nice. We can drive off. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I was... Apparently connected there. Oh god. 
Oh god, please no. Please no. Oh no. Okay, I need to put the magnet on. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I gotta fix that. <laughs> the magnet was magnetized and that did not help my situation. So let's just suck that back in. Perfect. So here's our shirt. It's kind of tippy. The shirt likes to tip, but let's go. Like I said, guys, probably didn't warrant its own video because it doesn't really have a crazy purpose. It does have a magnet on the back, which uh, which can carry artifacts, you know, maybe in the snow biome or something. I can use it to unload artifacts from the barge. Who knows? But uh, here, let me show you how it actually drives up onto land. It works pretty well. Oh, boy. Oh, geez. <laughs> Typically, it's a lot more graceful than that, but here we are, guys. Look at that. Like I said, it's tank drive. I'm still learning how to drive it. Now, it's tank drive in the most analog way possible, so don't think I did some stuff with logic. It's literally, I just, uh, I hooked up, you know, two motors, one to each side, and uh, different keys control them, and I'm just, I'm just shuffling my, my fingers around. So, this thing works great. I love it. Now, let's head back into the water, just to show how it does that, and then we'll go out of the seas, guys, and we'll, uh... We'll see if I can find some artifacts. Like I said, I think I built my thing a little bit too big. It may not be very good at collecting artifacts after all, but I'd like to think that it is, and we can always make adjustments or make it smaller uh, for the future episodes. Or I'll just build something else. Perfect. Look at that. And off we go. It does have some propellers on the bottom because the wheels by themselves were not enough to, uh, you know, to propel this thing through the water. It does get a little bit goofy. It does get a little bit goofy, but... It can also do tank drive stuff in the water, which is nice. It's just that it can't go very fast, you know? Just need to, you know, just need to kind of chill and go at this speed. And then it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I love it, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about this creation. I think it's one of the cooler things that I've built. And uh, I'm really excited to go and try and collect some artifacts now. So let's, uh, let's backspace. Let's rebuild everything. And uh, let's head out. Here we go, first time out into the waves. Curious to see how stable this thing will be. I'm assuming pretty stable. Huh, there's salvage here, floats on water. Let's go get that. I mean, it's right here, right? Not gonna lie, we're not going very fast into the wind. That's the only thing, because we're kind of a brick. Maybe paddle power needs a little bit of help, you know? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna torture myself for the sake of... Uh, you know, calling this thing a paddle boat. I'm just gonna add some propellers. Wow, I keep adding more propellers down below and it's still like, it's still struggling, it's crazy. This is my life now. <laughs> Where is this mystic red statue? It says it floats on water, but I don't see it here. Is that, is it in there? Oh my goodness, it is in there. Okay, well, let's see if the crane can get that. Let's park up. Oh, wow. I don't know if I can get that. I was not prepared for that. So how do we get up there is the question then. I wonder if I can pull these crates down. Oh my goodness, I totally can. Amazing. Who would have thunk? Perfect. Nice. Now I should be able to get it. <laughs> that is easy. Perfect, and we got it. Oh no. Oh no, we're getting a crate with it. That's not good. Nope. Waves, stop. Let's open our cargo hatch. And let's throw this, well, I guess we can deliver it, but let's just test the cargo hatch idea. Drop. Perfect. Close it up. Cool. Let's go get more. There's one there, and there's one there. Oh my gosh, that is so tight. But hey, it'll be a good test of this thing. This thing handles the waves so nicely. Huh, we should be right next to the other one. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> that's the one that I'm carrying. I'm so stupid. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to leave that in, but oh man, that's embarrassing. Oh yeah, this is the glitch spot. and There it is right there. This will be interesting to say the least. Oh boy. Okay, the waves helped. The waves helped. Going so fast. Where is this thing? Yeah, let's get the crane out. We need to be ready. Oh my gosh, look at that wave. Something's weird about this part of the map, but whatever. I'm not gonna ask too many questions. Oh, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Onwards. Where is the thing? Where is the Gabagoo? Oh boy, be careful. Be careful. Okay, there it is. There it is. It's in the corner there. We're gonna lower this down just ever so slightly, ever so slightly. And we're gonna get in there ever so slightly. Ooh. That's scary, man. That's scary. That's some scary stuff. I think we got it. We got a log. Great. How did... How, okay. 
Right, because it's not a magnet anymore. It's a tractor beam. I'm like, how are we getting a log? All right, perfect. Do I have it? I think I have it, guys. Now I need to strategically back out of here. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh, I got a log stuck underneath me, too. Okay, we'll just turn around. And we'll power forward. Go. Go. Get out of here. Come on. Oh, and there's the other one floating there. Perfect. We'll be good. We'll be good. Okay, okay, okay. Now it's... Well, so much for that. Looks like I need to load up my cargo, like, right away, basically. Alrighty, I repaired. Let's get these things back. Perfect. Now, where's the... Is there one... Oh, there's one underneath me, literally. Well, that's one way to collect it, I guess. Oh, man, this is a treacherous spot. I really started with, like, the worst spot, eh? I got logs underneath me. That's hilarious. Gotta figure something out for the... For the magnet. It's just a little too twitchy. And by little, I mean a lot. Cool, that's still there. That log is just on the ship now. Like, what? Did you not, sir? Oh, boy, the wind is gnarly. Okay, let's lift it up. Oh, gee, come on. Please behave. Stop, 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 stop. Stop freaking out. Oh, no, now I got both of them. Okay, perfect. We're good. We'll just keep that open for now. I don't feel like breaking more stuff. Oh, perfect. Okay, they fell. Now, how do I get that? That is the question. <laughs> is there any more around here? I don't think so. Let's just go back and deliver what we have, guys. Some major waves, man. <laughs> Luckily, I don't need to go there right now. Well, there's certainly faster ways to get around, that's for sure. But once again, I built something quite large. And I don't know if thrusters would even help me, guys. They just add weight, you know? Like, they they almost, like, add more weight than their thrust is capable of moving. So it's just like, why? What's the point, you know? Okay, that might... Oh, nice. It's gonna get knocked out. Gonna get knocked out from underneath, and we can grab it. Okay, there we go. Maneuvering in these waves is so tough. But hey, this thing is holding up so nicely. Please stop this nonsense. Perfect. Ugh, we're gonna crash into that. It's okay. Oh no, did I break something? Oh, we lost it! Oh no! Alrighty, I have all of them inside. Now let's get out of here. That's tough, man. That's tough. I ain't gonna lie, that's tough. That is a whole lot of propellers doing a whole lot of nothing. Now granted, I did build a slab, but you know, it's a... It's a platform. It's not meant to go fast, right? I mean, that's my excuse. <laughs> Definitely would be cool to build something else that is, uh, you know, a little more aerodynamic. But even then, like, you know, you kind of trade stability for other things at that point. Like, it definitely won't be as stable. It might be faster, but I don't think it would be as stable. I guess I could build, like, a catamaran like Scrapman did. I never actually saw what he did, but I know he built a catamaran just from... You know, seeing the titles of the videos, but, you know, that'd be kind of cool, and that might make sense. You know, that would be stable and also aerodynamic, but I also just don't think that these hull blocks are, uh, are aerodynamic, you know? Alrighty, making it back to the red base here. Let's see if I can make it in here. Perfect. Can we fit underneath? Probably if we lower our crane dealio here. Look at that. We fit like... Oh, now with the way we don't... Oh my goodness, come on. We're just gonna scrape by. We're just gonna scrape by. We're just gonna scrape through. We're just gonna scrape. Go, go, just go, just go. <laughs> I should not have done that. I should not have done that. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. I was gonna say, I need to figure out a way for the Sherp to uh, get the, the artifacts out of there, but I think I'm just gonna park up, lift my crane up, open up whatever part of my hatch is still left. Excellent. And uh, I'm gonna get in the Sherp, because I want to get the Sherp out of the way for now. How am I disconnected but still controlling that? That makes no sense. Look at this, guys. I'm not even attached to that creation anymore, but somehow I am controlling both creations. Okay, well, you gotta come back. We gotta come back. And let's get all these things out of here. Can't use the Sherp, we'll just use the good old crane. Well, I was initially gonna use the crane anyway to unload them, but I was uh, hoping to use the Sherp. Oh, okay, that's easy. Perfect. And let's get another one. Ta-da! Excellent. Cool. Okay, so we got those. We can rebuild finally. Alrighty, so I think what's happening is the Sherp can actually control everything that's on the boat and i don't like that Alrighty, much better and now i guess every seed does its own thing so if i get into here i technically shouldn't be able to do other stuff yeah like i can't i can't really do other stuff 
all I can really do is this and this and we're now in the water where we're flipping <laughs> so we can flip over cool I love this little boat do got to make sure the props properly aligned though because here's what happens go straight and then I can adjust it and I can pitch it down pitch it up or well rather up and down but yeah then it also does that and you get kicked out of the seat quite hard to build small stuff that also looks good that also works well in this game but it's a nice challenge i like it well guys i think i've proven that my c rig does in fact work i do admit which i think i already admitted i went a little bit overboard oh my goodness look at that magnet doing its own thing i went a little bit overboard i built uh, something that may not be exactly fully necessary uh, and could probably be accomplished with a vehicle that is you know smaller and probably even just as stable you know, even if I have this thing, I could probably achieve the same results. And maybe that's what we'll do for the next episode, where I'm going to be collecting more of these artifacts. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to build a whole new vehicle, but if I do, well, that's okay. Uh, it is what it is. Is there an artifact up there? Ancient tome and an ancient tome there. So I guess I got to build a drone as well. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, but I think uh, I think we'll give this thing another chance in the next video. I'm going to rebuild it a little bit more practical and uh, And we'll go out again and we'll try uh, try scavenging for more artifacts However making it smaller means well making the cargo area smaller and these artifacts are pretty big And as I discovered I do need that cover on the top because uh, with the waves the artifacts just get knocked out So that's necessary and kind of an important part of the design but uh, you guys let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you think about this build. Uh, I am going to upload it to the workshop most likely so you guys can play around. Remember, you gotta bump up the complexity limit though. That's the only thing because I, uh, I did go a little bit overboard with that. <laughs> Actually, here, let me show you the original rig that I built. See, it's only at 810. So without the boat and all of this stuff and this nonsense and this nonsense and the four lights, this thing is at exactly 700. Which, uh, which is pretty cool, so you can actually do this with the stock complexity limit. Uh, you can have basically all the functionalities that it had before, uh, you know, minus the two vehicles on it. But hey, it's up to you, I guess. And it still only goes like 20 kilometers an hour into the wind. <laughs> Not that great, but it is what it is, right? It's a big sea rig. That's what's going to happen. What did we expect? Definitely going to see if I can speed it up for the next video though, or maybe we'll build something entirely different. I know I only collected three artifacts, but I guess the whole point was to showcase this paddle-powered uh, crane barge that I built that uh, would be really cool if it was more practical. Which, granted, it did not break once in those heavy seas, guys. Like, in those crazy high seas. It really held up well, in my opinion, so I think it's a great success. I just feel like in terms of collecting artifacts, we need something faster. So, uh, without further ado, guys, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the video. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like down below as well. It helps the video be seen by other people. The algorithm does its magic. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, subscribe for more awesome Trailmakers content. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!